Hey everyone, you may know how frustrating it could be when a project editing and color grading takes way longer than it should. Well, I just started using a tool that literally saves me hours in a big projects. Today I want to show you how it works, why it's total game changer for me and how you can use it to speed up your workflow. Let's jump in! So for this demo I cut together and graded a quick little video, it's just 5 clips, nothing fancy, I didn't really push it, just gave it more of a cinematic vibe, here's the before and after. I went for kind of a retro look, softer with warm highlights and cooler shadows. Now here's a trick I only started using recently and honestly on big projects it's a total game changer. It can save you hours. Let's jump into this clip. If I zoom in, you can see there's some chroma noise in the shadows that I want to clean up. So like I normally do, I'll create a new node at the very start of the node tree. That way I'm working with clean data. I'll call it noise reduction. Then go into motion effects and set my go to settings. I usually run it at 3 frames. Set the temporal threshold to 4 for both lumen and chroma. And for spatial threshold, I unlink the chain and bump chroma up to 6. That's it everything else stays default. These are my standard gentle noise reduction settings. Check this out before and after. Not sure if you can see it after YouTube compression, but all that color noise is gone. Super clean. But here's the problem. Not every clip needs noise reduction. And if I've got a big project, I don't want to waste time later trying to remember where I used it. So what I do is save this note as the shared note. Just right click, choose save as shared note, and now it's something I can apply across multiple clips. So if I'll go to another clip where I want that noise reduction, I just right click on the first note, go to add note and down at the bottom you'll see our noise reduction shared note. Click it and boom, it shows up as the next note. Then I just drag it to the start of the note tree or I can copy and paste it into a new serial note in another clip. Like that. Here's why this workflow is such a time saver. On a project with 1000 plus clips it's literally impossible to remember where you put noise reduction. And while editing it will slow down the computer performance and playback speed. With the shared note I can disable it in one clip and it instantly disables everywhere. Then right before I render I just turn it on in a one clip and it's back across the entire project. Crazy fast and super efficient. And of course, it's not just for a noise reduction. You can create shared notes for anything. I look for example, grain, LUTs, whatever you use across multiple clips. Personally, I've got one for my grain here. One of my subscribers even uses my indicator LUTs this way. And it's brilliant. For example, let's add a new note at the very end of the note tree and drop in my saturation indicator LUT. By the way, there's a link in the description if you want to check out my indicator LUTs. I'll name it saturation LUT and save it as a shared note too. Now I want to compare for example skin tone saturation between clips. I just add this shared note in both. Then using split screen I can look at them side by side and see if the saturation matches. So I see that same red, yellow and green indication on the skin. Perfect, they match. And again turn it off in one clip and it will turn off everywhere. Total time saver. I'll leave it off for now, I don't need it, but right before the render I'll enable my noise reduction, also enable the grain and I'm ready to go. I'll add the quick sound design I've done for this video and we are good. Finally hit into the delivery page, set your render settings, add it to the render queue, hit render and let's watch the finished result in full screen. So let me know in the comments below if you've been using this shared note technique or maybe I'm the only one who started using it so late and wasted so much hours in post-production. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, it really helps my channel. But now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!